Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, a how-to guide to take care of a longhorn cowfish. As you can see, I have a, a, a baby longhorn cowfish in my water box Peninsula Mini 25. So I want to talk about the care level. Um, if you're planning on having one of these guys and how difficult it is and uh, a few small things about the cowfish. The longhorn cowfish, Lactoria cornuda, also called horned boxfish, is a species of boxfish from the family Ostra, Ostracidae. Okay, so it's, uh, it's very recognized for the longhorns that you, you can see. They are from the Indo-Pacific region and they can grow up to almost 20 inches long about 50 centimeters. When they are older, uh, adults, they normally are very uh, solitary and territorial. Uh, they live around the, uh, the reef, all around the reef, I will say top, bottom, uh, middle. And they can be found in depths up to 50 uh, meters or 160 feet deep. They are omnivores and they feed uh, different types of algae and other meaty, meaty foods. So what I do with mine is I, uh, he loves to eat mice shrimp. I, I give him different types of mice shrimp, uh, the big ones and also the small ones. And uh, once in a while I give him a, a little bit of uh, nori, uh, same as like a, a, a tank. And uh, he eats very, very well. Another fact about these guys is that there is no sexual um, deformism between males and females. They both look alike, so it's very difficult to tell what it is. Uh, so the range of them are, is, is extremely high. They range from the Red Sea, East Africa, all the way up to um, the Sea of Japan in Australia. A big thing about these guys is that they have a defense mechanism when they are extremely stressed out so they are toxic uh, so in case they get like super super stressed out and um, this is pretty much uh, a concern when getting this fish is that you really have to consider where to put him what t uh, tank mates he is going to have because uh, if he gets too stressed out, what's going to end up happening is he's going to release a toxin and uh, because it's a closed system, uh, he, uh, everything in the tank will perish very quickly unless you do like a massive water change. Uh, even the, the boxfish will die. Another adaptation that they have is that uh, their bodies are made out of almost like an exoskeleton. It's a very odd uh, the body of the fish is all uh, a solid unit. If you see, if you see next the, the puffer fish, he can uh, move like a normal fish, while the box fish cannot do that stuff. So it's extremely important that if you have a system with a lot of flow, it is not gonna do well in there because he won't be able to move as fast as the other fish. So the flow has to be very very mild for him they have a unique uh, way of swimming it's called ostrac ostraciform swimming which as you can see uh, it looks like he's hovering over the um over the tank not like a normal fish that wiggles like a normal fish <laughs> the cowfish doesn't have a pelvic no it doesn't have a pelvic skeleton like i said before so they ha they lack pelvic fins. They are um, they are very slow swimmers. Uh, so why is it so difficult to keep? Okay, so uh, to begin with, uh, all those ad adaptations that the fish has. So it's um, it's a poisonous fish. If it gets too stressed out, he will kill himself and kill everybody in the tank. Uh, second, the way he swims, which is called ostraciform swimming. Uh, which is a very very slow way of swimming and um, 
so if the tank has a lot of flow, he's gonna get, uh, he will not get any any food, or it's not gonna swim very well. So that that will uh, not help him with the stress levels. Also, aggressive tank mates. If you have a extremely aggressive tanks, annoying fish that will bother him too much, that's also a, a big no-no for this guy. And lastly. He is extremely, extremely prone to ick. Uh, when I got this little guy, the place that I got it from, they told me uh, they they didn't use copper. They were using hyposalinity in the system. I don't believe in that. Uh, if if I don't use copper, uh, the hyposalinity stuff is is no is not good. You have to be very, very careful, very precise for that stuff to work, and it takes longer than using copper. So I knew he was going to get infected. So I, I, that was like a straight, I was like, yeah, he, he probably has ache. So I brought it home, I set up a quarantine system, I put it in there. Uh, first week was observation, making sure he was fitting. Second week, I started dosing the copper, uh, small doses until I increased the correct uh, amount. And of course, he, um, he was covering it. By the second week, he was like, it looked like he, he was, uh, sprinkle all the way with ick all the way F uh, fins eyes uh, mouth g uh, the small gill opening that he has uh, every everywhere everywhere it, it was I, I was like feeling sorry for this little guy so uh, the, the good thing was he was eating he was responding very well of the uh, the feelings that I was giving him so um, it took me, uh, well, I, I did the normal uh, quarantine four weeks with copper safe. I always use that stuff. Uh, regular copper mean is very harsh, especially with this type of fish. So I use copper safe and um, I did the normal for a uh, four weeks quarantine, 30 days. Uh, by the last week, he was already uh, rid of all the egg. I transferred him into the um, to the water box. So when I transferred that guy to water box, uh, I had another fish in here. I had a file fish, a Aptasia eating file fish. I threw Aptasia eating file fish. I used to, I used to get very confused with those guys because there is another file fish that doesn't eat Aptasia, but they look very similar. Uh, I had this guy uh, for uh, quite quite some time, and he does eat Aptasia. The only problem is like. He, after he finishes with the Aptasia, he will go for anything that looks like Aptasia, meaning Soantis, a, um, Club Polyps, a Senia. I had Senia in this tank and he destroyed it completely, destroyed the Senia. I didn't thought that um, he was going to be any problem with the cowfish. Unfortunately, the following day after I put him in the tank, he start picking on him really badly, really, really badly. Uh, as you can see, the tail tail is, is all chewed up because the foul fish got him. And uh, it just, it, it took him only like half a day. I, I put him at night, went to work next day. When I came back from work, I saw that and I was like, oh my God. And he was like playing with this little guy. He was like, cause he, he doesn't have any, any way to defend himself you know what I mean so the the foul fish was kicking him around and he couldn't do anything and his little tail got all chewed up the other guy had to go so far he's doing extremely well in here even even with that puffer the southern puffer that I that I capture in the marina uh, the puffer doesn't seem to bother him at all uh, sometimes I see the cowfish, uh, when, when I put food in the water, I see the cowfish stealing food from the puffer, <laughs> which is unusual. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, another thing about these guys is that they, they seem to grow very large. 20 inches is a very, really big fish. Uh, right now he's about, uh, we'll say, it, uh, what, two inches, inch and a half maybe, probably two inches. So if I can keep him uh, for a long term, he, I will transfer him to the Red Sea and uh, so he can grow a little bit more in there. But right now, he's, he looks very happy. Um, I already cleaned uh, the tank. 
and I really really like the way he looks very unusual all right so let me show you a um, how I feed this guy and that will be it So as you can see, um, I use a quite a bit of amount of mice and shrimp. I, I really want to make sure this guy is well fed. Um, usually, uh, well, I only do uh, the feeding once a day. And uh, the problem with this system is that, um, as you can see, th that was my. This is my uh, water box peninsula and I don't have a skimmer on it. <laughs> so I only relied on water changes and microalgae to keep uh, all those nutrients low and the system clean. It's a little bit difficult to keep it clean because after a couple of weeks, I, uh, the buildup of uh, stuff starts getting out of hand a little bit. But nevertheless, the microalgae uh, grows very well. That means it's uh, absorbing all the nutrients so yeah and the, the catfish uh, really really enjoys his meal right now mm -hmm. 